All right, uh, just to start off, you know, just so proud of our football team. Um, you know, back-to-back -back weeks, going on the road. Um, you know, this is a uh, you know, definitely a, a very unique place, you know, a, a loud atmosphere, um, you know, with what they do, you know, offensively, defensively, you know, in, in, in incorporating a, a lot of different schemes. Uh, I thought our guys prepared at a very high level, and I had a lot of confidence coming into the game of, of what it, how we would play. Um, and our guys did not disappoint. I mean, they they've been remarkable, and you know they've worked they've worked you know, so hard in their preparation, uh, continuing to focus on our growth, continue to focus on our development. Um, you know, I thought we were dominant tonight. You know, offense, defense, you know, special teams. Everybody everybody did their part uh, to to take place in that in that victory and. Uh, you know, it was, it was really special. And uh, to be able to see our defense, you know, you know, keep them out of the end zone, it's back to back weeks without giving up a touchdown. I mean, I'm just so proud of that group uh, for what they're doing. And then offensively, you know, went over 200 yards rushing again. I mean, that was, you know, that was a, a top eight, top 15 ranked defense that we played against. They've done a, They've done a good job of holding, uh, you know, holding people throughout the course of the year. And, and uh, you know, for us, I mean, our, our guys just, you know, they believed in what they could do. And I uh, you know, thought Jordan was, Dang near flawless. I mean, he played. He, he was exceptional in, in all things. Um, you know, Trey Benson had another big night. It was good. To, good to get uh, you know a lot of a lot of players were able to uh, to get out there and, and make an impact in the game. And we're continuing to see growth uh, from from a lot of those playmakers. And um, you know, I just thought it was it was, an, it was an awesome performance. You know, so proud of our football team. And uh, you know, we're continuing to take steps uh, of where we need to go. And this was this was a big game for us. I mean, it was a, the last ACC game. Uh, we wanted to, to to make a statement uh, for for how we how we finished. And I thought. They made a great statement for uh, uh, just the, the growth that we've seen, you know, throughout the course of the season. You know, that we, it, it, you know, obviously it's, uh, it's been some times we've been knocked down, but our guys, you know, they they jumped back up and continue to believe, continue to push. Um, you know, the leadership that we have within that locker room is something that um, that is that is well earned. The way that our guys work, uh, the way that they believe in each other, and uh, you know, I'm just I'm just so honored and grateful uh, that I get to, to stand on that sideline watching those guys play. And, um, just being a, being a part of this process of, of, of helping our program continue to grow to where it needs to be. From a maturity standpoint, playing well from the jump a week after the rivalry game, the emotions that go with that. It's huge. How impressive is that? Yeah, I mean, that's it's huge. I mean, to be able to, to come out, you know, because everybody's expectation is that you're going to have a letdown because you play a rivalry game, you play really well. Um, you know, and, uh, if, if it was about them, maybe. But it's still about us. It's still about our growth. It's still about our process. It's still about the, you know, making sure that we're cleaning up the areas that, that we can clean up and go out there and play our best game. Uh, you know, was tonight perfect? No. So I can promise you tomorrow we're going to go back to work and we're going we're gonna to focus on the things that we need to do get, to, to, to continue to improve and get better. But that's what, that's what this, this team is embracing. And it, was, it, was, it started a few years ago. And you know what? There's been some good, some bad, some, some, some great, great uh, you know, high points and some low, low points. And but when, when you continue to believe and, you, and you're investing that work and you pour into each other and you're doing it with all your heart, man, it's, it's fun to watch. And you know, I, I think our guys are playing as good as anybody right now. And um, you know, it's, it's impressive to see, but the only way to continue that is to go back to work. And that's what we're going to do, and uh, you know, that's what our guys believe in. Can you, explain, can you expand on your defense and what your defense did to hold Syracuse? 160 yards total, uh, one of 11 on third downs. Yeah, you know, I thought we did a great job of attacking, and um, you know, it not and I'm not saying just in in blitzes or pressures, but just the way the mentality of how they played. I thought our defense was flying around. Um, you know. They've got some really talented young men. Uh, I mean, Tucker's one of the best backs you're gonna you're gonna face. Uh, you know, when Schrader, you know, Schrader, you see his size, his ability. You know, he when he pulls the, the ball down. I mean, they ran him a good amount tonight, and um, you know that's that's something that presents challenges. But uh, you know, our, our guys embrace that, and you know, I think that our defensive front did a, did a wonderful job. You know, being able to to be disruptive, uh, for some long yarded situations, we're able to, to you know really uh, attack on on third downs, and uh, you did a, did a great job in that situation. As well, so um, it was good. It was just a, a all around great effort from the top down. Hey Mike, what changed since Clemson? Because everything was not rolling and a losing streak, and then also now everything's clicking like the offense is clicking, defense is clicking. What changed since that Clemson game? You know, I just think we became more consistent in, in what we were doing. And you sit there and you, you go through the three losses, and I mean, there's there's just segments of each game that you know, you know we didn't play as well as we needed to play. And when you're playing experienced teams, when you're playing teams that are that are talented or good, you know, those were all three good teams that we lost to. Um, 
but whenever you when you when you don't capitalize on those moments, whether it's a, a situation, whether it's third downs, whether it's red zone, whether it's just a sequence in, in the game where it's all you know all three phases, you know where they have a mistake, it builds upon each other, and I think we've eliminated those a lot of those mistakes here these last uh, you know, these last three weeks, and um, you know our guys are working really hard. They you know they they're applying the lessons of what they what they've learned, and uh, you know it's. Uh, you know, showing up, and you know, we need to, to continue to show up for us to, to get to where we want to go. Was it important to punch in that last touchdown? Uh, what was that fourth down? Yeah, I mean, it was. Um, you know, you get down, you, you get down on the goal line. We want to make sure that we're we're scoring we're scoring touchdowns. And uh, you know, obviously, situation of the game. Um, I was disappointed we didn't get in on the on the play before, um, but. Uh, you know, on the fourth down, you know, I thought our guys did a nice job, a job of executing the play that was uh, uh, that was called, and uh, you know, it's just you know, any every play in that game was important. They, they, even in the fourth quarter, where we had you know some some drives that didn't go the way we wanted, it was guys getting experience for them to be able to learn from, and you know, it was um, I think that with that mindset and approach, I mean, that's where. That's why you coach for 60 minutes. That's why you, because it, it, every experience matters to those young men because it's their opportunity. It's their, their chance to grow and get better. But, you know, I was definitely glad that we were able to uh, to finish in hands zone. Is there something different between winning and winning as, by as much as you can win by? I mean, in terms of I mean, not you know, embarrassing I, the opponent, but just yeah, no, being I mean, dominant. Yeah, you know, I, want, I want guys to, to go out there and play to the best of their ability. And we're not, you know, we're never going to try to do something to, you know, it's like some of these those decisions late in the game are what do you do here, you know? And so you don't you never want to sh you know, uh, show somebody up, but also you got guys in there that you know they, they work their butts off in preparation and they want to go out there and and show what they can do and we need to see what they can do because you know they're one play away or or a couple plays away and just to see exactly where they are so we can paint the picture of what they need to do to continue to improve. So uh, it's a fair it, it, it's it's a fine balance in in that, but uh, you know. Um, you know, I think that you know, the scoreboard speaks to, you know, I mean, I thought our guys played well. And so it's, uh, you know, I'm proud of them. You, you anyway. talked about you talked about Jordan and I mean obviously so much of his passing game has been a lot of the explosive plays a lot of deep shots tonight I mean I don't think he really had any it was a lot of the underneath that seemed like that's what the game plan was just how impressed are you just with how well rounded kind of whatever you want him to do whatever the game plan is how well he executes I mean, it yeah, he's, a, he's a really good quarterback and you know he and he embraces he embraces what we you know lay out and you know there were you know I think I mentioned earlier in the week you know one of the, the biggest things that Syracuse's defense has has improved in. I think they've, they've limited the big shots, and uh, you know they've done they did a nice job uh, with that tonight. Um, you know they when they keeping keeping deep safety on the roof. Sometimes you got to go and, and, and work through your progressions. And uh, you know I thought Jordan was was very comfortable out there on the field. And I thought he did a, a great job of uh, executing the offense. And you know it was, it was awesome in where he was locating the ball. Is it good to bring in the backups in this one of these games to see what they look like, you know, just in case something happens down the road? And you go, oh, I know he knows everything. What's going on? Yeah, I mean that that, that in-game experience is something that's uh, you know that's, that's crucial for each player, and you know, every player you know that, that goes through you know, you know wants an opportunity to show where they where they are, um, and it's, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but you know it's, it's still a, a chance for them to all uh, you know really take those positive steps. So you'll hear in practice for what they need to do to get better. The defense had got faced with that sudden change when the after the strip sack, then they go out and that was that was one of my favorite favorite things of the game. And uh, you know we talk you know you talk about work, you talk about preparation. That doesn't mean it's always going to be pretty. And sometimes you get thrown into a challenging a challenging spot. Well, how do you respond? And that that's the response. There was no I mean and and I'll say this about our team like that it's been like that and and it's, that's been the, the constant. Is it doesn't matter offense, defense, special teams, right? Good play or bad play. You don't you don't feel people going at each other or hanging their head because they, oh this is a little bit more difficult now. No, give me the opportunity, get me out on that field, let me go make my play, right? And that is the 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 mindset that we want. And and I I, I love that from our team. I love that from our defense. And in that's where you know you get that type of stop you know right after a, a negative play and a and a being put in a tough situation, well, that, that shows your mentality, that shows your heart, and uh, you know, just an incredible response. And then Azari Thomas recovering the outside kick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, no, it was good. And, you know, once again, we felt pretty, you know, pretty confident that there was going to be a chance that that would, that would show up, but it took a positive step. You know, it didn't work out as well for us a few weeks ago. Um, but, uh, you know, for Azari to come and, and respond in that situation and, you know, recover the kick, proud of him for that. Who got to break the rock and why? Uh, Adam Fuller. 
And, you know, uh, I tell you, so many players on defense you could go through. I mean, every, I mean the stat, stat line is, is incredible. Uh, you know, last week Fabian broke the, broke the rock, uh, you know, because of, uh, uh, on behalf of the d defensive performance. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know how long it's been. Uh, 2013. 2013 back-to-back -back games without giving up a touchdown and uh, you know it's we got great leadership there too and uh, you know coach Fuller and, and the defensive staff I mean it's on behalf of them they put they put forth you know uh, a great plan you know also having to prepare for all the potential you know quarterbacks this that and then I mean and to go back-to-back -back weeks without giving up a touchdown is impressive so uh, you know he brought he broke the rock on, on behalf of the defense and, and you know all of the, the things the great things that they've done what are, what are the biggest differences you've seen in the defense this, these last three games? Oh, I mean, you, you see the confidence, you see, um, you know, the the leadership that we have and just the energy that they play with. And it, it starts, you know, it starts up front. You get guys, you know, uh, Robert Cooper, Fabian Lovett, you know, Jared Verse, uh, uh, you know, uh, McClendon, Patrick Payton. I mean, go you go through that four seam unit. Dennis Briggs. I, I can go through all of them, right? But you take that four seam unit, then you go to the linebackers, and and you see the style and mentality of which they play with. I mean, I love watching our linebackers. You know, fly around. We put a lot on those guys. Um, you know, we challenge them with what they do, and um, and then that carries over into the defensive backfield. When you see the versatility, I thought Akeem Dent, you know, really flashed had some great plays today. Um, you know, ball was out in the open field, and he got you know one on one with with the, one of the best backs. You know in the country and gets them down and and the next play I think makes another another big play um, you know just flying around I, I, I like seeing that growth I mean obviously everybody you know, you know, sees you know Jamie and the work that he does I think our corners have really gotten better throughout the course of the year um, you know, they're one of the best pass defenses uh, you know in the country because you know it's it's they're they're all playing together. And you know, we said it throughout the year, you want 11 guys playing this one. Well, th these guys are embracing that mentality and uh, it's really you know, showing up well on game day. It doesn't. See, it probably doesn't seem like a big, idea, big deal because of the final score, but going into half, Ryan, in that situation, mm -hmm. the way things unfolded. Oh, I to, loved it. I mean, it's like one another, please let, let us get one of those those you know, you know, circumstances. What I, I, he was, we had a couple false starts. We had, you know, which I'm not real happy about, yeah. but we had a couple false starts. Um, you know, right, tried to ice a couple, you know, different stoppage, and um, you know, he just he was out there. And it's funny because our defensive players ran out and they all started like they were trying to hype him up. And I was like, guys, man. but he didn't, they loved it. And uh, you know, be able to go out there and, and hit the uh, hit the field goal, you know, there before half was big. And um, you know, I'm just proud of him. He's another another young man in our program that's you know had some challenges early in the season. Um, you know, stuck to it, continue to work, and he's he's been really good for us. Uh, you'll hear these last uh, these last few weeks.